Welcome to the Flash video series on Endocrine Guidelines. Let's have a look at the Endocrine Society's guidelines on Addison's disease. How should we test? The gold standard screening test for adrenal insufficiency is short synectin test. However, you can use a 9am cortisol and ACTH as well to test them for Addison's disease. For short synectin test, you take a 0 minute blood sample for ACTH as well as cortisol and then give your patient an injection of synectin to 50 micrograms IM or IV. Then take another blood sample at 30 minutes or 60 minutes or both for measuring cortisol. Don't forget to add aldosterone renin ratio on the initial blood sample if you're thinking about Addison's disease. Results interpretation. If you have the 9M ACTH sample more than two times up per normal limit, along with the 9M cortisol below 140 nanomoles per liter, this confirms primary adrenal insufficiency or Addison's disease. If you have done a short synectin test, then a peak cortisol level at 30 minutes or 60 minutes below a level of 500 nanograms per liter shows a failed short synectin test. A failed short synectin test can confirm adrenal insufficiency but not Addison's disease, which is primary adrenal insufficiency. This can only be diagnosed with a raised ACTH level. This concludes screening for Addison's disease. If you want to know how to treat patients with Addison's disease, click on the next video.